Welcome back to Raven Watch. I'm Jordan Yaney. It is almost time for spring break, which means that our AU baseball and softball teams are getting ready to head down to Florida for their annual trips. The baseball team has already gotten off to a hot start on their season, winning their fifth straight game this past weekend. A lot of that success can be attributed to senior pitcher and designated hitter Joe Moran. The reigning conference MVP picked up where he left off, becoming the first player in HCAC history to win both pitcher and hitter of the week, and he's not stopping there. Moran has his eyes set on playing at the professional level. We had a chance to catch up with AU superstar senior at practice this week. The summer before my freshman year, I hurt my elbow and during the fall, I tried to rehab it. Um, didn't really work, so I ended up having to go under the knife. I had to get Tommy John surgery um, on my ulnar collateral ligament. And since then, it was like I knew I had to devote myself to working really hard to get back to be better than what I was before. Because um, my dream has always been to play professional baseball, and I didn't want this little setback to, to set me back and keep me from that. So. Honestly, that injury, I tell a lot of people, it paved the way for my work ethic that has gotten me to this point. So this past summer, I got the opportunity to play with the Thunder Bay Border Cats, which is a team in the uh, Northwoods League, which is just a collegiate summer baseball league. And uh, it's just up north of the, the border in Minnesota, up there about an hour north of the border. And it was a really competitive league, and it was provided some really awesome opportunities for me. I went up there kind of as an underdog. There's not a lot of Division three athletes, uh, baseball players specifically, they get to play in a league this talented. So I was playing with a lot of Division one players, and I got to essentially go up there and showcase what I can do, and I ended up getting selected for the, the Northwoods League All-Star game about halfway through the year. And at the end of the year, I got selected to participate in the Major League Baseball Dreams Showcase, which is essentially um, scouts, like MLB scouts, will handpick baseball players from the Northwoods League to participate in a showcase at the end of the year for guys that they essentially want to watch and are on their draft list. To be the first hitter and pitcher of the week in the, uh, in the first week of those awards being given out, it's really awesome. Um, obviously, I, I kind of had a special couple of weeks to start off the season. And uh, I would just attribute that to just all the work that I've put in. I'm just going to keep working hard and the results will show for themselves. It's honestly unheard of for D3 baseball players to get an opportunity to play in the Cape Cod League because it's just essentially if you're going to the Cape Cod League to play, you're going to play at the next level. So to get the opportunity, it's going to be awesome to be obviously coached by really good coaches and then be around really good players that are going to be at the next level. So hopefully that opportunity can help me get to the next level. This team and this season in particular, we have a chance to do something really, really special. And we have 17 returning seniors on our team this year, which is crazy to think about. Um, so we got a lot, of, a lot of older guys that have experienced a lot and we're really, really talented. So, and me being a senior, like I've, I've been here, we've been through a whole lot. The senior class has been through a lot and We've weathered the storm, we've worked really, really hard, and it's all kind of for this moment now. So we're looking to have a really, really special year. The men's basketball team spent last weekend at Transylvania University competing in the conference tournament. They upset Bluffton in the first round 77-68, to but fell to host Transylvania 92-84 to in the semifinals. Malik LaFoon had a great weekend, scoring the 1,000th point of his career on his way to being named to the all-tournament team. Head coach Owen Handy picked up win number 100 of his AU career during the opening round. AU's track and field team hosted their final indoor meet of the season on Saturday. The men's 4,000 meter distance medley relay team took first place, anchored by seniors Kate Hutchinson and Ian Leatherman. Clay Meadows locked up first place in the 200, and Corey Herget tied for fourth in the pole vault. On the women's side, the 4 x 400 meter relay team finished just five seconds short of the school record on their way to a first place finish. Caitlin Engler came out on top in the 60-meter hurdles, and Mariah Murray once again claimed first in the high jump. It was the last indoor meet for this year's group of seniors. That's all we have for this week. We'd like to take a moment to recognize our sponsor, Steve Folgate. Call Steve and Allstate when you need insurance and financial services. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Raven Watch.